emergency. Better way. There's always a better way to do absolutely everything and anything that we want. Do you believe that statement? If you believe it, put I believe in the comments below. If you don't believe it, put bullpucky in the comments below. Sharon Horn Elstrom here. So you can call me Pajama Grandma. In case we haven't met yet, go ahead and put hashtag pajama in the comments below. So I know it's the first time you are being exposed to the Pajama Grandma. Today I'm thinking about a better way, a better way of doing everything and anything. And continuous improvement, I call it, is kind of ingrained in my being. I don't know why, but even as a little kid, I was always looking for better, faster, easier, more efficient, more effective ways of doing things. And that led me to study engineering and industrial engineering in college, as well as marketing and management and a whole bunch of other things. Because I was always looking for the answers to doing things better, to being well, I didn't realize I was looking to be a better person and a better me until I was much older. But now I always am looking for, well, how can I just be a better human being? How can I be a better mom? How can I be a better grandma? How can I be a better cook? How can I be a better online marketer? How can I be a better businesswoman? How can I serve my customers better? And I, I don't know if everybody thinks that way or not. Sometimes we think that everybody thinks like we do, but then we realize nobody thinks like we do. We're unique. And we are the only person on the planet that thinks exactly the way we do. We're the only person on the planet that has had the unique set of experiences that we have had. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't always be striving to be a better, the best version possible of ourselves every single day, every single, you know, all the time of every day. And so somehow that got, you know, ingrained in me that I'm always looking for what is a better way of doing something. And my example this weekend is I've been collecting a bunch of data to put together a woman's summit. And I've got like 16,000 some lines in an Excel spreadsheet that I was trying to edit and clean up to pull out the topic and come up with the best topic for this women's summit that I can get all the speakers to speak around and to really solve women business owners' biggest challenges and biggest problems. Give them a bunch of different solutions to their number one problem, their number one challenge. So I created this huge spreadsheet, got data from all over the place, and put it in this spreadsheet. I'm trying to analyze and clean up this data. And I thought to myself this morning as I read A Better Way by Thomas Edison, <coughs> that there's always a better way, which I always already know. I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I spending my time and energy cleaning up this data? Well, my reasoning was I want to create a process that I can teach other people to do to research and understand what they should be doing for their audience. And that's all well and good, but I don't need to do that right now. I need the information that I'm wanting to get from that worksheet. And there's other ways, there's a better way I can go about getting that information out of that worksheet. And I didn't think about it until this morning when I asked myself, is there a better way to get the result that I want for right now? Yes. I totally got it. So I'm going to do that. And then I will take this big worksheet, this giant spreadsheet, and I will hand it off to somebody, either my VA or probably somebody on Fiverr or somewhere else because it's not a mission critical task and have them clean up the worksheet, delete the lines that don't need to be there and, and do what it was that I was spending hours doing the last two days. It's kind of like doing my own bookkeeping and taxes and accounting. The best decision I ever made for my business was to hire a professional accountant and bookkeepers to do that part of my business. I don't need to be putting in all the invoices. I don't need to be preparing the tax forms. I don't need to be doing those things. Number one, I wasn't good at it. It wasn't my, I, I was good at it, but I was, became overwhelming when we got more than one business going on. It just became too much to keep up with the tax laws, which are all were, is changing. So I needed an area, I needed an expert in that area. I needed somebody that could look out for our best interests better than I could because of all the other things that I had to do that I needed to be doing for my business and for my life. So is there a better way to do something that you're trying to do or accomplish right now? And sometimes it's as simple as like for me this morning, stepping back and saying, okay, what is the result I want? The, what, the result, what's the end game here? Working backwards and saying, okay, this is the result I want. What is the best way, the quickest, fastest, easiest, most efficient, most effective way to get me that result? 
What's another way to get me that result? Is what I'm doing right now the best way to get that result? Well, heck no in this instance of what I'm doing. So boom, change the question, change the possibilities, open up the world of possibilities because there's there's like a whole bunch of ways to get the information I'm, I'm going after, right? And I just happen to pick a way that I know that I'm good at, that I've done in the past, and I made it like this overwhelming, insurmountable, giant mountain task that would take me at least a week to clean up that worksheet. It would take me a week because I have other things to do, but it will probably take somebody else, you know, maybe a day to do it. If they, if you know, it's their dedicated thing for a day, yeah, they could clean that up in a day. But it would take me at least a week. And I don't want to spend a week doing it because it's not going to improve the information. I just want the information. I just want the result. It, and cleaning up that spreadsheet is not going to give me a better result. So I'm not going to do it today. I'm going to use my other strategy to analyze that data, analyze it that's in that worksheet, and then pull out the information I want from it. And then I'll hand it off to somebody else and get them to do it. Because that's a much better way, a much better use of my time, energy, and resources than doing what I thought I was going to be doing. Uh, doing my... 30-day challenge today, or my challenge, my daily um, share of people's strategy for how they would regain their business if they lost everything in 30 days, what would they do? So I'm doing that. I'll finish that up on Friday morning, which is perfect because I'm going out of town for our Girls Oktoberfest weekend. I guess we're women. We're not girls. We're, we're long out of the girls stage, but it's an annual thing where we go up to the cabin and we have an amazing time. We go up to Rutgers Resort and go to their Oktoberfest celebration, which is, it's just a fun girl or women's week and thing to do. So we're going to go do that. And I don't want to ever miss that. I only missed it once. And that was because of my sister's cancer. She had leukemia. And so I stayed back and, and stayed with her and went and visited her and helped her out in the hospital. She was in the hospital for that period of time. So better way. I'm working on that. I'm going to finish that up. This week I'll finish up the 30 and then I pop into the end of the last 10 days of what was our 30 day challenge, but it's kind of been stretched out to a 60 day challenge. So on Saturday, Sunday, I'll pop back into that. And that I can do when I am up at the cabin with other people around, no problem. I'm also participating in the Click Funnels One Funnel Away Challenge. And I'm thinking that as I do that to hold myself accountable, I will do a daily video in my Sharon Horn Elstrom page that just talks about what I'm doing, how I feel about it. Because I'll tell you right now, I'm nervous about some of the stuff that we did uh, preliminary belief exercises this first week, just the last five days of this last week. And I'm going to share that and summarize those today on that page. And I'm going to share one of my coaching students is doing a really cool thing with that challenge as well. He's actually on his Facebook page or in a private Facebook group, not private, it's a closed Facebook group, sharing his experience and his vulnerability with going through this One Funnel Away Challenge and what he's doing to build up his business. So I think that gives you a couple different perspectives of how different people, how I'm going through it versus how one of my coaching students is going through it and his experiences with it. And we're very different people, so you get a totally different perspective on the same exact challenge, which illustrates to people what I say. The process is the same. The bottom underlying science of anything we want to do is the same, but how each of us apply that process. That's the art part of it. So there's a science and an art to everything that we do in our lives. And you can learn the process. Everybody can learn the process, but it's how you actually uniquely apply that process that determines the results you're going to get. So I just said out loud that I'm going to do that. So now I've committed to doing that. And that's something I, sh I also can do when I'm at the cabin because it'll just be me sharing my experience of the challenge. So I'll just take my laptop up. I'll listen to the challenge. And if it's like the preliminary week, Saturday was a catch up day for us. And I suspect I haven't looked at it yet. Um, I haven't turned on my computer yet to see if there's any challenge for today, but I suspect that Sunday is just going to be a day off every week, to, or, and maybe not every week going forward in the challenge, but at least this first week it was. So if it works out that way, then I'm golden because that means Saturday and Sunday will just be catch-up days on the homework that you were given during the challenge. Now, I've been doing a lot of stuff with ClickFunnels for the last almost well year and a half now, and yeah, year and a half, wow. So... 
I, I don't anticipate that anything they ask us to do any day will be a huge hardship for me. And it'll be interesting because I don't think it's going to be for my coaching student either because he's been in ClickFunnels a, about a year, maybe a little longer, and he's really an awesome funnel builder and things. He doesn't think he is, but he totally is. And so I think that the mindset pieces of it and the if the pick, I guarantee the picking one thing because I know they're going to make us pick one thing and one niche. I think that's going to be his biggest. I, I am, I am calling my shot and guessing that that's going to be his biggest challenge with this strategy or with this 30 day one funnel away challenge. Mine is going to be, I don't know what mine's going to be yet. I think mine's going to be, um, not just doing it. I'll talk about that in my, in my video today. I'll talk about what I think my biggest challenge is going to be with this challenge. And I'll share that on my Sharon Horn Elstrom page. So always have a lot going on. I don't seem to understand that I don't have to have a lot going on all the time. It seems fun for me. It keeps me going. Keeps me young. Oh, it keeps me young. Got lots of wrinkles. But it does, it does drive me. It, I love doing and finding new ways to help people. So this is an example of that. What are you working on today? What is something that you could just ask yourself the question, is there a better way to do this? And open up the possibility that there might be a better way. And then what would the, what is a better way of doing this? What is a better way of doing this is a really good question, right? Or who knows of a better way of doing this? That's even a better question because that presupposes that I don't have to be the one that does it. I don't have to be the one that figures it all out by myself. Remember, there's always Google. You can Google almost anything. All right, that's it. That's all I've got for this morning. Go out, make it a fantastic day. And I will, of course, see you tomorrow with another What's She Up To Now. Bye. Share what you're up to in the comments below because this pajama grandma would love to know.